Hey everybody, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Art Treasures, and we are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. Yes. Uh, Donna has FOMO today. It's Absolutely. Thursday. It's Thursday. It's our normal garage sale day. It's garage sale day. And last night she sent me a neighborhood garage sale link, and in I our said, neighborhood. No, it's, it's not our neighborhood. It's across the highway. It's in Fall Fallbrook. And I said no. Because he's mean to me. Because. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch our videos, you know why I said no. Um, um, if you look behind us, you'll yeah. know why. Yeah. Oh, uh, but I did tell her. I said, you know, next I understand week. the FOMO, so let's get some stuff done this next week, and then we can go next Thursday for a while. But yeah. Uh, so anyway, so instead of doing garage sales, we're gonna do. We have 17 we're things to ship discover. out today, and we're gonna do some pulling out of boxes from last weekend's haul. So. Uh, we have started selling stuff. We sold stuff on Dollar Auction. We uh, sold stuff. We sold stuff. <laughs> and, we sold stuff. And stuff and, and whatever. So we've started moving through some stuff, but there's a lot to do. Mm -hmm. We sold a lot of the furniture that was in the storage unit. Um, but we have another pick or whatever you'd want to call it this Sunday. So we need to keep At moving a things. location, yeah. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to do search through a box or two discovery. then we're going to go discovery and then we're going to go show like <laughs> half sold? of the what solds and then we'll do some more picking and then we'll show the rest of the what solds we got some crazy things that sold you guys mm -hmm. who says you can't make money on tupperware wink wink um and then we're gonna you know go through another box or two and then we'll wrap this up so i don't want to make it too long yeah so let's get going so let's get going Here is what we're looking at right now in our garage. This is all from there. This is all from there. To here. And then that is fire buy and garage sale stuff on that side. Well, we did that one pick with oh, our and friends. The other, and it's the in other house. Here. Yes. Yeah. And then the firehouse buy and then our other stuff that was in yeah. there. And then stuff, we got a lot in the storage unit. <clears throat> so we'll pick from this. How about, can we do a tote? We can do whatever you want. First? Do a tote first? All right, let's just grab what's on top. What's in here? Iowa. See, we have it marked Iowa, so we can keep everything separate. Yes. Okay. First, we have Step Van Bank. Coca-Cola, Step yep. Van Bank. And so all these things, we'll research, we'll comp them, we'll decide where to put them. Whether they be on eBay, dollar auction, or in the booth. Yes. Uh, here's another bank, par the bank. 50th Ertl. Yep. Is it Ertl? Yeah. Yeah, Ertl. Yep. Oh, we have a Lion King. Lion King Talking Bank. Rawr. It doesn't Yep. Come. So we'll check that out. And, oh, this one's cool, honey, look at it. Look at that, C3PO and R2D2. Sounds like there's a few pennies in there too. So that's cool. What's this guy? Uh, I have no idea, it's a little tin can bank, I guess. From a, a giveaway, a bank giveaway. Oh, from a bank. Yep. There's a penny or two in that one. Coca-Cola dispenser bank. That's yep. kind of cool looking. It's got a little Coke there. Mm-hmm. And then a Godzilla. I assume it's a bank too, yep. Godzilla okay. bank, check that out. That's cool. So yeah, the batteries are dead in them, but pretty cool. 1998. So there's the first tote. Um, let's go downstairs and hit some of the what solds, and then we'll come back up and do some more stuff. Oh, there's more? Yeah. Oh. Special occasion stamps. 20, there's a stamp inside it. It's not open yet. Oh, sealed special occasion stamps. Huh? But it's a bank, so maybe that's why. this The uh, family collected banks. Yeah, yeah, so. clearly. <laughs> All right. Let's go downstairs and see some things sold. All right, we're gonna go through the what sold. We're gonna through through about half of them. There's 17 things as of right now. We're gonna do about eight of them or whatever. I'm sorry. There's 19 things, not 17. Uh, our, usually we don't ship on Thursdays. Usually ship on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But after this last weekend, it was so hard that Monday, by the time we, I don't know, 
and made a video and so I don't even remember what happened Monday it was really a blur and by the time I got shipping done it actually went into Tuesday and Monday so, was the recovery day yeah Monday was a lot of recovery so I actually ended shipping on Tuesday and then tomorrow I'm gone all day for a golf tournament and so I'll probably ship like Saturday morning to finish the week so we're a little messed up this week but no big deal first up we have this little thing <laughs> I don't it's, even know what this is. This is a sister Tracy sent it over. New skin, age L O C something rose gold accent head attachment. I have no idea what it is, but it sold for thirty dollars plus shipping. It's a new skin attachment. New skin attachment. <laughs> All right. What does it sell for? That little box. Th thirty dollars plus shipping. Oh my goodness. Next up, we have this shirt. This has been listed a long time. It's got like a beach theme on it. It's got like palm trees and stuff. I don't know if you can see that, but oh yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, Hawaiian type shirt, told $10.94 plus shipping. Oh, gotta see where they're going. We still need Vermont, New Hampshire, Alaska, and that's it. This is going to New Jersey, and the shirt is going to Ohio. All right, next up we have a Camelback. Camelback bag with the with the bladder inside that you put water in. And this is the cleanest camel bike I have ever found in a garage sale. Everything, it's not chewed up or nothing. It's like brand new. I can't say that it is brand new. But I paid $2 at a garage sale and this sold for $30 and it is going to Colorado. Hmm. Hiking country. Next up I have a DVD. We have friends that brought over their kids do like flipping houses and they brought some things over sometimes, some movies and things like that. This is a DVD box. This is World War I in color DVD. And this sold for $18.39 plus shipping. Thank and it is you. going to Maryland. So thank you to Keith and Bonnie. Uh, next up, um, the Raven buyout. That's the one where we did the entire house. It was like a three day project uh, last year, a year ago, right Donna? A year ago, right at this time. Yeah, yeah, it was like first week in July or last week in June. Um, this is a book, it's called Animal Tales for Bedtime and this sold for $10.99 and it is going to Pennsylvania. Next we have a cassette I've had for a long time, listed for a long time, it is a deep purple cassette and it sold for $6 headed to Arizona. No new states yet, hopefully we can get one of them down here. Uh, next up we have a pull string doll. The doll, the pull string doesn't work. Let me grab this. All right, Donna listed this. Where did this come from? Oh, this is just, we've had this for a long time. This just sat in our storage unit for a long time. And the pull string doesn't work. Little red-headed doll. Uh, it sold for $24.99 and it's headed to New Jersey as well. We did sell one of the comic books from upstairs. I went and grabbed it. It is an Essentials Spider-Man Volume 1, and this sold for $16, and it is going to North Carolina. I always say North Carolina like that because from North Carolina, back in the 90s, the Bulls, Jordan, you know, <laughs> it's just ingrained in my head. Let's do two more here, and then we'll head back outside. Uh, the next one we've had for quite a while. It's been sitting on a shelf in a bag. Let's check it out. Oh, you see that? I see an ear. It's a squish! <laughs> yep. I love them. Yeah, Donald likes the squishes. Oh, right there. look at it. <laughs> is that a hedgehog? He's a hedgehog. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, he's been listed for a while. He's so good condition. Yep. And he sold for $23.09. And he is going to... Florida. Let's see his name. Does he have a name? Uh, I was looking his on name is Hans. Hans. Hans the Hedgehog. <laughs> Hans the Hedgehog. Bye, Hans. He's going, where did I say? Florida. Florida. Hans is going to go get some sun. And then next up, we're going to do uh, something that actually came from Iowa and sold already. It is right here. There was a with the case, a Game Boy DS Lite right there, cobalt blue with charger and case, and that sold for $54.99. And it is going to Maryland again, another Maryland today. 
so that's going out so that's about half the things going out and we're gonna go look through another couple boxes and totes or something okay Donna's gonna grab a bag here and then we're gonna do another tote too and this tote this tote this tote you did see in the video but we didn't open it oh. so we'll see what all oh, I see a Barbie okay so we'll see what we got in these things shall we do this guy first there you go. Got some clothes. What do we got here? A Husker. Husker jacket. Jacket, looks like. Oh, which reminds me, after you do these clothes, we're going to show something else. Okay. Another, and these Husker things can go in the booth. Yeah. Another Husker. Yeah, they're mainly probably for the booth. What's this? A Husker? Another Nebraska, like a sweater vest thing. Yeah. And then, what are these? Oh, what's this? Um, they look like they're just like Husker flag. A flag, okay. I don't know, it's new. I just threw them in there. What are these? A couple packages of... Oh, the cooling. Microfibers, okay, yeah. Cooling towels. Oh, this is another Husker flag. What's this? What are these? Um, I think these were Speedo dive. There's, There's two sets with flippers and goggles and the whole works. I don't. They look like they're oh. new. Maybe they're not new, but we'll take a look at them. We I just threw them in the bag when we were packing. There's so, a tag. Oh, that's a name tag. So yeah. So we'll, they we'll have, check those out. Those are cool for like scuba diving or something. Or just swimming. I don't know. Oh wow! We just sold a quilt at the booth, so mm -hmm. we have a spot, so we can put this quilt at the booth. There you go. Okay. And then this bag is cool. Yeah. It's a Cabela's field line. Is it Cabela's? Uh, I think so. Field line. A real tree. I think it's real tree. Real tree. Okay. Anyway, that's cool. All right, right behind your head. Grab that red and black. Thing right there this? there's two of them first one is these are vintage Husker coats this one's a logo athletic and with the big old hit on the back that's super cool very clean nice condition and then grab the other one as well that takes our pile down a little bit which is super cool this is a, oh, a vintage starter starter jacket look at this starter coat that is no jacket that's a coat and flip it over on the other side. Oh, the tag? Yeah, size XL. Look at that big old hit on the back. That's cool. Starter from Sri Lanka. It's not from USA, but it's from Sri Lanka, but that is obviously 90s by the logo, you can tell. So, Marketplace maybe for that one? Uh, maybe the booth, maybe Marketplace, maybe eBay. I don't know yet for that. Okay. All right, let's get into this tote here. Another name says Iowa. Beanie Babies. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we have not opened this. We don't know what's... There's a University of Nebraska Omaha Mavericks bank, truck bank. That's or just a truck, cool. maybe. Yeah. Is, is it not a bank? It's not a bank. Looks like just a truck. Okay. Oh, you guys. Hey, look. He's so cute. <laughs> and we... he's British, too. <laughs> hey, look at him. Oh, down here? Yeah, okay. down here. They're Coca-Cola. These, these ones are Coca-Cola. So this they're one not too. These are just little. Uh, the, yeah, little they stuffies. have Coca Cola tags. Cool. So they're Coca Cola beanies. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. Faith Hill. Okay. <clears throat> What's this? A DS. Uh, DS game. Oh, it's oh, not in there. there. Uh, Mega Brain Boost. Not yeah, in there. I actually saw that. Oh. Oh, there's your flower seeds. Yep. Yep. And then just some clean a little Kleenex package. Ooh, non opened. A sealed Justin Bieber C D. Some football cards that were just randomly in there. Alright, Ace Hardware. Bank. There's, there's uh, coins a in this one. In there. Cool. He's cute. Star Wars episode one. Sith Speeder with Darth Maul. All right, cool. What's the date? That's probably like 2001, 1998. So, that's cool. 
All right. Here is a Pepsi, Pepsi Cola gift bank, brand new. Neato. We're going to do a whole bunch of banks in the booth. Here's a Land Speeder, Star Wars, Power of the Force. What year is this? 1995. That's cool. So that's pretty cool right there. Amico uh, coin bank. He's got a wheel problem. Oh, yeah, he got a little, he's got a flat tire. We'll Have see if we can fix, get him a new tire. Fix Speaking his of which, wheel. I need to get a couple tires. Yep. Uh, Star Wars figurine stampers gift set. Never seen anything like that. Uh, what year is that? Probably around the same. 1997, it says. Star Wars Episode One die cast watch. Cool. New oh, in package. That's cool. What's his date? 90. 99. 99. What's this? Star Wars Deluxe Han Solo Smuggler Flight Pack. Very cool. That's probably from 90, 96, it says. Kenner. And then we Ooh. got a big old beautiful Barbie doll, Millennium Princess Barbie in package there she's what 2000 probably uh, millennium yeah <laughs> and then lastly a micro machine looks like a micro machines right is he micro machine stores action fleet with the snow speeder oh look they're oh and cute. the little guys in there cool what year is that from probably late 90s flip on the bottom that is 1996 so that's awesome that's a great tote right there, Those I think. Those are cool. Obviously, now, we have to look at all up and stuff. Now but. we have a tote we can use because we used all of our totes for packing, so I have none to use while I'm listing. So, perfect. Yeah. yeah. All, right. all right. Let's head back downstairs and show the rest of the what solds. Okay. All right. We got, like, I think we're about halfway through, so we probably have nine more things to show you here. Uh, first off, we're going to start off with a pair of sandals. These are White Mountain sandals, and they actually go like this, <laughs> not like this. And they sold for ten fifty. Not a good pickup. Donna picked those up for at a garage sale for four dollars. So I did. Yes, that's what it says. <laughs> so, oh man! So not a good pickup there. But they're going to Arizona. But they're cute. How long ago did I pick those? Does up? that's probably been a while. In our earlier days. All right. Next up, we have two different sales. They're going to the same person. First is this dish. Uh, it's not overly big, but this is kind of the stuff that I'm trying to move away from a bit. There's the pattern you can see. This is probably okay because it's not too big, but if it was any bigger, I'd be not real thrilled with this because it was $10.94 plus shipping. And if something's $10, I don't want to spend a lot of time and energy having to pack, but this is not bad because, you know, it, if it was any bigger, I would be kind of frustrated at this. Uh, we're just trying to get higher value items on. This is going to Kentucky, one of our favorite states, and that's ten dollars ninety four cents. And then the other, per the same person also bought this set, which is the same situation. It's the same set, same design, same everything. I don't want to break it, um, but that one right there. That one sold for $17.38, so $27 uh, for the two. To ship them both together and package each of the three pieces, like it's going to be, you know, a little extra work trying to move away from and things that take longer to ship, trying to shoot for a little higher values. But they will be just fine. I'll get them there safely. I will get them there with a smile on my face. <laughs> and they are both going to Kentucky, obviously. Next up. Another thing from the most recent cleanout, Mario Kart DS game, $14.50, and that is going to Missouri. Next is a family fun game. This is not a family fun game. <laughs> this is Shock Tato. They did this to me. It's Luke, Shock Tato. You, you, Luke and Steve did this to me. You turn it on, and it's a hot potato, and then eventually it'll get around, and it'll zap you. And we didn't turn it on. There's a mode called Extreme. And we didn't try that one. They tried the weakest one. There's lame, normal, and extreme. And I did lame, and Donna was not a fan of it. And I think Luke and I did normal, and it was like, oh, it just kind of catches you. You know, it doesn't electrocute you or anything. You but. know what? You know what? Listen, I got something to say. Have you ever been shocked by an electric fence? If you're a farm kid, you probably have. And that's what it feels like. 
It does. It is not that bad. Anyway, I picked this up at a garage You've sale. You've never been shocked by an electric fence. I've been shocked by several things, but so, not an electric fence. Okay, <laughs> eleven ninety nine is sold for, and I paid one dollar at a garage sale for it just because I thought it looked fun. So eleven ninety nine going to Alabama. There you go. That's it. <laughs> Okay, next up we have another cassette. This one I just picked up a couple weeks ago at a garage sale for a buck. And it is Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies. It's a great, great album, great band. And it sold for $18 plus shipping. And it's headed to Utah. Here's a DVD set from the $700 buyout that we did in the books and DVDs. This is called Here Comes the Brides. And this sold for $22.99. And it's going to another one to Maryland. Big day for Maryland. We have two more things. I'm actually going to have Donna do them because they're both Donna finds. So, all right, Donna, what do you got? I have a Viking vase. Where did we get this? We picked this. We picked this from the the private pick a couple weeks ago. Yeah. A Viking swung vase. And red. it glows on the bottom and right on the top here. That sold for $36.23, and that is going to Iowa. Nice. As long as they can get across the river with the flooding. Oh, man, you guys. Think about the people affected by that. Yeah. Uh, the last thing, here's your Donna's Tupperware buy. Her favorite Tupperware buy. Favorite Tupperware sale. Yeah, wipe the heat up. Blow the heat off you because you are on fire with this. <laughs> we got this whole set for $20. <clears throat> It has a cookbook. It's a stack, stack cooker microwave set. And we've got a cookbook, new. And then we've got all the pieces. And the lady was a Tupperware consultant. And um, she had several neat pieces, but this one was amazing. And right after that, like two garage sales, two weeks later, we found another set of this. It's not new, it's used, but how much did this sell for? That sold for $91.07. We listed it for $99.99 yep. and took an offer, or we sent, sent an, an offer. an offer of 8% probably. Yep. And that is going to North Carolina. Yay! So, no new states today. That's sad. Show your sad face. There's her sad face. <laughs> All right, let's go pick a couple more things. Okay. All right, I'm going to pick a couple things here. We know that these are probably more toys type stuff, Husker stuff. But first, check this out. We think these are bolos. People have talked about these. And oh, it's one of those aluminum, aluminum silver Christmas trees. trees. Yeah, so we'll we put think, it together. Yeah, we'll put it together. We'll research it. But I think these are bolos, and I think we have a few of these, With honestly. With four. Is it four? Something like that. So that's cool. Next, we'll grab this laundry basket so we can get it emptied out. We, I think, when I was a child, had this exact Aww. same jack-in-the-box. Pop. <laughs> so, yeah. A little jack-in-the-box there. Then we have a Nebraska Huskers flexible cutting board. So Special. that'll be, you know, a dollar auction item, I assume. For the booth, we have a Oscar shelf. Radio flyer, little red wagon, a little dusty, but that's okay. We can wipe that out. That's cool. Check that out. Um, this is just an old picture. I saw that's it, cool. I just grabbed that. Um, does not have a year on it. That's cool though. A little McDonald's Hot Wheel or something. And then we have unopened pack of uh, Panini Gridiron Football from what year is this? 2012. This says so. You know that's probably something there. There's a camera. It's a Samsung uh, 8.1 megapixels. We'll have to look that up. I don't think that's real high dollar, but you know we sell a lot of cameras here. Uh, these are vintage, just old uh, mirror oh, therm thermometers. Those are cool. So that might be for the booth. I don't know. A lot of cool stuff. Like, there's so much neat stuff. It's kind of crazy, honestly. Uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back pop-up book. Oh, neat. That's cool. Cloud City. It's floating in the clouds. Hmm. Here's just a brand new... 
colored pencil set. Gotta hold it straight up. There we go. Colored pencil set, brand new there. Here's a sealed Nebraska Cornhuskers calendar from 1998. I keep getting the glare on there, I'm sorry. Here's a still wrapped belt buckle, State of Oklahoma, Diamond Jubilee, 75th anniversary. Uh, I don't know if there's a year on that, but yeah, belt buckle. Okay, we just had somebody pick up, so we were chatting with her. Uh, here's a pack of Kylo Ren playing cards, and then a read-along Empire Strikes Back oh, cassette cool. tape and book. From Walt Disney. So that's cool. That's from 1997, so it's not like it wasn't made during the Empire Strikes Back years. Oh. But that's cool, though, still. Uh, the United States Mint 150th Anniversary of Smithsonian Institution. What is it? I don't know. Oh, it's a little coin. Oh, it's coin. a coin of some sort. There we go. So that's cool. You can see the back of it here, too. There you go. And then in this bag we have... Oh, I remember this. I grabbed this. This is from Norfolk. The Norfolk Ledger Dispatch. Norfolk, Virginia. Nazis quit. This is the newspaper from May 7th, 1945. Wow. So I don't know if there's value in this or not, but that's pretty cool. That is cool. You have a cool find there, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, crazy. And then lastly, what we grabbed here is... Oh, we were going to do one more small coat. Yeah. Then we have this. Donna, what is this? Red glass. Red glass. I'm not sure of the brand or anything yet, but it's red glass. Yeah, kind of bubbles on it. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right, let's do one more small tote thing. Ooh, that All looks right. interesting. And here we have a Harry Potter. This is a bank, uh, Action Bank. That's cool. So, that's cool. Um, here we have the P-Touch uh, printer tape. And there is a P-Touch label maker and more of the tape. Brother brand is what it is. And then these, I don't know if these are all the same for the same thing. There's also a brother label maker like that. And all these cartridges. So there's all that. Okay. And then I did grab, there's, I found two. Oh, key locks. Locks. I think those are new. Okay. Here is a just a little cheap little level laser level pro thing. Cool. Uh, I don't know what this is. A little mini light. Then here's some just some office supplies in here. Rubber bands, uh, tags, all Stickers kinds of just office things. supply type things that I thought Donna might like and might be able to use in the office or in the booth or whatever, but. Okay. Just a whole variety of stuff like that. Very cool. And that's it for today. All right, that's our first uh, like discovery, discovery. video. Discovery, yeah. That's what Let Donna us know if you it. liked that kind of a thing, us discovering in each box. So, um, again, yeah, yeah give us any feedback. Like this will be different, and we're gonna have enough stuff that we can do this for. A some while. some videos, <laughs> you know. Um, it's not always gonna be like this. And then you'll see some of these items sell. Um, and yes. the what sold videos too. So. Yeah, some of these things go to, like we said, some eBay, some dollar auctions, some booth. We yeah. don't know for sure yet, but a lot of fun, cool stuff that I'm really excited about getting listed too. And there was, you know, if you guys watched that video, you saw the silhouette pictures and yeah. uh, precious moments and all, a lot of stuff that like Donna likes too. So, I mean, there's a good mixture of Steve and Donna stuff from the house, yeah, which was, that was the perfect so mix. fun. Yes. So, anyway, we're going to wrap this up here. Yep. Thank you all for watching. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are Happy Our Treasures, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.